voice mirror. Ezekiel saw a scroll and on the sides of the scroll were written words of lament, mourning and woes. That could be a runway with signs around it. It could also mean it's a road that, you know, he was supposed to eat. It means just moving across or taking off using that particular runway or that particular road because it looks like a scroll. When you're being driven on the road, it seems like the road is coming towards you and disappearing behind you. So that's what's described as eating. So you eat the scroll and it's sweet in your mouth, meaning there's this feeling of takeoff or just the thrill of driving, of being driven, which uh, you pick up. You would also find in Revelation 10, John also had the same experience. And for John, I think it was a, a road on a bridge. And when he ate the scroll, it was sour in his stomach, meaning it gave him motion sickness. But it was sweet in the mouth, meaning he enjoyed the ride. When you go to Revelation 10, John saw a short script which was being carried by an angel with one foot on the sea and one foot on the land. The short scroll was actually a bridge. The bridge was sitting on the land and on the sea and it was holding this scroll. Again, John was told to eat the scroll, meaning he was going to tell the angel to give him the scroll and eat it meaning he was to travel across the bridge and he was being sent on the other side of the bridge to prophesy. So this scroll that Ezekiel was forced to eat being a short runway, when you go all the way to Ezekiel 3 verse 12, it says, Then the Spirit lifted me up and I heard behind me a loud rumbling sound as the glory of the Lord rose from the place where I was sitting. So he heard behind him the loud rumbling sound. That is the takeoff sound of this vehicle or this plane. And then he goes on and says, It was the sound of the wings of the living creatures brushing against each other and the sound of the wheels beside them and a loud a loud rumbling sound so the sound of the wings of the living creature brushing against each other these are the wings that are behind the plane which seem to be touching each other so he says those wings were also making noise and brushing each other and then there were these sounds of the wheels beside these wings the wings that are covering the body of the plane have two wheels these are the two engines or the four wheels which are the four engines so those are the wheels that is talking about that are besides each wing which were creating a loud rumbling sound then he goes on and says that verse 14 the spirit lifted me up and took me away so ideally he took off they took off and he was taken to israel because he continues and says and i went in bitterness and in anger of my spirit with the strong hand of the lord on me he was going prepared because he's been told to travel and he's going to Israel. And then he says, I came to the exiles who lived at Tel Aviv near the Kiba River and there where they were living. I sat among them for seven days deeply distressed. So what all this means is that there was some form of travel and it started off by eating the scroll, which is for every plane to take off, there is a scroll that they eat. The runway that is because it's like a short scroll that is lying open and it has markings around it meaning it's written on it lamentation was what is written on those marks they're, they're just the markings on this runway so he's he's asked to to eat this scroll and it's sweet in his mouth it's sweet as honey in his mouth because that just describes the thrill and the comfort there is. You enjoy the ride. And in Ezekiel 3 in particular, this scroll did not make his tummy uh, sour because it is a runway and he was inside a pressurized plane. But when it comes to Revelations 10, John was given the same scroll, but this scroll was on a road which was between two pillars, which was actually a bridge. And when he drove across that bridge and because he was being driven in a car, he became motion sick because of the travel. And he was told it's going to be sweet or exciting in your mouth, but it's still going to make your stomach sour. So that's the difference between the scroll in Ezekiel 3 and the scroll in Revelation 10. But all of these scrolls 
form a part of moving from one place to another. Ezekiel was being sent to the Israelites. John was being sent to prophesy across there because he was being told, now go and prophesy about the peoples, the nations, and the languages. That is after the scroll. John was being sent to prophesy on the other side of the bridge, whereas Ezekiel was taking a plane, eating the short scroll, which is the runway, and took off in the living creatures, which is actually the plains, and took off and was taken to Israel, and he landed at Tel Aviv. They had the likeness of a man. Everyone had four faces, and each one of them had four wings. Their feet were straight feet, and the sole of their feet was like the sole of a cow's foot, and they sparkled like burnished brass. They had the hands of a man under their wings. Their wings were joined one to another. They didn't turn when they went. Each one went straight forward. They had the face of a man, and the four of them had the face of a lion on the right side and the four of them had the face of an ox on the left side. The four of them also had the face of an eagle. Their wings were spread out above. Two wings of each one touched another, and two covered their bodies. Each one went straight forward where the spirit was to go. They went. They didn't turn when they went. Their appearance was like burning coals of fire. Like the appearance of torches, the fire went up and down among the living creatures, and the fire was bright, and lightning went out of the fire. The living creatures ran and returned as the appearance of a flash of lightning. Now as I saw the living creatures, behold, one wheel on the earth besides the living creatures for each of the four faces of it. The appearance of the wheels, their work was like a barrel. The four of them had one likeness and their appearance and their work was as it were a wheel within a wheel. When they went, they went in their four directions. They didn't turn when they went. As for their rims, they were high and dreadful, and the four of them had their rims full of eyes all around. When the living creatures went, the wheels went beside them. And when the living creatures were lifted up from the earth, the wheels were lifted up.